And I'm Liz. I'm a college graduate, and I expect the best. I'm the driven one. And I'm trying to have a life. Our PR firm is called Publicity. It's based off our names. Really amazing. Well, it's like funny because like we're very different. Right. It's like I live to work. Exactly, and I just want to have an amazing life. Like that's just me on myself. Okay, that's great. Well, you know, it's my point is it's not just people that get cancer. Dogs get it too. Oh my God, I love dogs. And I, I want to raise awareness for that. That's what my charity is for. I hear you two are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's like what we're going to do is like a big party, like a big splash. Oh my God, I have an amazing idea. Okay. Pirate Girl Rum presents a rock and beach bash to benefit cupcakes for canine cancer. That's cute. Super cute. I'm going to work hard on locking down some custom cupcakes. <gasps> And my new rescue dog, Brad, can totally walk the red carpet. I found him in the trash. He's gross. Yes, he is. He's disgusting. I just want it to be tasteful. Oh my god, that's oh my god. so that's cool. Sweet. That's, that's sweet. That's really nice. cute. That's sweet. that's sweet. Coming up next on Publicity. I like to work hard. Obviously, I know how to do my life. Like, I'm 21 years old and I know what to do. So, thank you. You know what I mean? It's like, just go to bed. Where the f is Liz? <laughs> So we have this like super demanding client. He wants the best and he wants it now. And Liz disappears with her dog. Like we're here for you. Like you have the red carpet event. Like you need to focus on what you want. This is about you. Like what do you want? I mean, what are you looking for exactly? Like I just feel like he looks like his face is very frowny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of that. He'll be very happy when we're done with him. Dr. Armand is an amazing plastic surgeon for dogs. You know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the face a lot more symmetrical. Because I hate how he looks now. Mm -hmm. You speak to him and he listens to you and then he does the operation. We'll snip out the... Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't want something in my home that's like ugly because... You, you wouldn't buy an ugly sofa. No, and like you wouldn't talk to an ugly person. No, I don't. I, I only hire very attractive people and my third wife is one of the most beautiful women that I know. Congratulations. Thank you. No, just do it. Hey, Liz. I'll call you back, just do it. Weigh it. There's a problem with the cupcakes. Cassie, the cupcakes are crucial. I know, believe me. Then act like you know, okay? Yeah. Where is Liz? I can't put on this pirate girl rum presents a rock and beach bash to benefit cupcakes for canine cancer all on my own. I invented this magic marker. Good for you. Yeah, it's the only one that you can use to write on dogs. That's amazing. I call it a Sharpay. Does it come off? I cut it off and then I bleach it. Amazing. I have so much pressure right now. Nice. It's like a very competitive industry. Inside, I'm freaking out about the cupcakes. The cupcakes don't even look that good in this What did you just see? I'm so What did you just see? Forget it. Just forget it. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I was in San Diego diet, so I'm like super emotional right now. Liz is not cut out for this business. I am like being chill and Liz is being like not cool. Hey Tootsies, oh my goo goo. My dog is gonna look amazing for the event. Well, I am not feeling amazing right now. Like, talk to me, like I left you here and now you're like spinning out of control. I'm not spinning out of control. You're freaking me out because you're not responsible. Liz, get out of my face. Like, I want this to be fun. Like, I want to have a good time. Like, you're riding so hard right now. Yes, by the way, it's like ridiculous that you could ever want to see something like this. Don't call me ridiculous. You know that's my pet peeve. Like, my dad always called me ridiculous, and I always- You look ridiculous right Stop now. it, Liz. You I know I'm what I, like. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna make it out of this. Leader on publicity. I'll treat you nice. So tonight is our huge charity event. We still have a bunch of balls up in the air and I am freaking out. Stop taking pictures. There's still work to be done. I'm trying to have fun. It's not fun when you're being a bitch. That's what you think. Like, hi, how are hi, you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sorry, my hat.
guys are so cool. So far, the party's been like a really big success, but underneath, I'm freaking out about the kit case. Oh, how are guys, you? Talking about it's our hey, prince charming. Oh, like this client knows what he wants, he wants it now, he wants it when he wants it, and we have to give it to him. Otherwise, nobody will want anything from us ever again. Liz? Wow. Yeah. The cupcakes are here. Bring them out. <gasps> cupcakes look amazing. The cupcakes look amazing. They're wearing little bikinis. They're ready for the pool. This is not what I envisioned. I'm all about work, and the work we put into these cupcakes are really paying off in an amazing week. These cupcakes are having a party. Oh, Brad! Brad is so confident. He's like a completely new dog. When push comes to shove, I wouldn't trust my dog's box of surgery with anybody but Dr. Armand. Brad, you look absolutely gorgeous. The event cost $20,000, and it brought in $4,000, and I feel foolish. To see these cupcakes and Brad come together in such an amazing way makes me realize how important your friendship is to me, and I love you so much. I love you too, Liz. I would say we are BFF. client privilege. Where do you draw the line? I'll tell you who not to ask. Ruth Diamond Phillips. You, you might remember me from the uh, Dr. Armand case. It was one that I was immediately drawn to. Murder, intrigue, romance, and then it all went to hell. Objection. She wearing evidence? You're free to go. But I picked myself up and I started my own firm, Diamond Phillips and Associates. New client coming in at one o'clock. Well, why don't we ask him to meet me at the restaurant? Oh, hey. Oh, pardon me. All right. The first thing that I noticed about Mr. Hmm? Jeff uh, was his plump tush. Ms. Diamond Phillips, when I met Ruth, this woman was friendly, she was kind, big head of hair like a, a fern. She seemed like she could be more than a lawyer. For a long time, I was a referee. Oh. Then I became a TSA agent, mm -hmm. you know, protecting the friendly skies. Wow. So uh, I'm chatting with this one guy. So he says, for a friend, yeah. would you mind looking the other way while I send some personal items through the uh, x-ray machine? Sure. Turns out the personal items was uh, 12 pounds of cocaine. Darn it, Jeff. The charges against me were very severe. I guess they caught me sending a bag filled with cocaine through, you know, the x-ray machine. I didn't know. So I was looking to lock down some legal help so I wouldn't get locked up myself. One of those police dogs uh, could smell from the food court. Uh, That's how smelly this cocaine was. But I don't got a nose like a dog. Treat me like a dog. But uh, things might get dirty. I might get dirty. <laughs> well, cheers to this, huh? Cheers. <laughs> This is a candle. I'm not gonna drink a candle. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff, I guess, is and will always be the funniest gentleman that I've ever, ever met. Well, it's always five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right there, Ruru. Some say justice is blind, but she's also insane and horny. And the case of the TSA versus Ref Jeff was no exception. Bingo, see, on a date here, right? Yeah, well, I, well, yeah. Oh, my favorite thing about restaurants is chips. That sort of interaction where you, you're so excited, you feel like you're just first meeting, but you're so comfortable that you feel like perhaps you've known each other for forever. So, uh, Jeff, I, I realize as your attorney that I don't know a lot about you. Um, do you have a family? Oh, yeah. Oh, you do? Huge family. Oh. I really got thousands of people in my family. Well, everyone I meet, I treat like a brother or sister, you know what I mean? Phew. <laughs> you know, speaking of sisters, uh, can I ask you something? Anything. Who's your favorite character on Living Single? Ruth and Jeff's relationship blossomed that night. Jeff's company was like catnip for Ruth, and Jeff was stunned by his newfound ability to lock down plants. Ruth Diamond Phillips. 
never cancel on a plan once. Time would slip away from them, and before they knew it, it was the day of Jeff's trial. Mr. Meloso, do you still reside at 359 West Route 28? I do indeed. Uh, I live there with my beautiful sweetheart, Lara. Hey, baby, how are you? And our uh, 15 beautiful children. Say hi, guys. These are good kids. We rescued them from a bunch of scumbags, those people who leave their kids out in the dirt. Ref Jeff and Lara have loosely adopted between 10 and 15 foster children. Oh, yeah, I got a big fam. Something that Ruth Diamond Phillips could have rightfully expected him to mention at some point. Did you or did you not go out to dinner with me and do dancing with me? She's my lawyer, right? I'll allow it. Oh, I just wanted to crucify that Lara. So you're just, uh, well, you're just, well, you are just gorgeous, aren't you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're gonna tell me that these two people are criminals? Oh, she's actually not. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so strike that. You know what that man smuggles? He smuggles love for exhibit A. He smuggles hugs for exhibit B. Every single photo that slipped out of my hand, another crack in my, uh, Beating heart. Would you like to see some more? Of course, these are adorable. At the end of the day, the lawyer in me won out, and the woman in me will have to go home and uh, figure it out, and uh, at least I know how to do that. I rest my case, my heart is broken, I'm fine. Thank you. You're so nice. You're, you're really a really nice uh, uh, person. For Ruth Diamond Phillips, the law won out over attraction. Ruru, come and join oh, us. No, You're no, part no, of no. the family now, Ruru. Come here, come here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm still horny. <laughs> I really am. I'm Nash Ricky. Yeah! A rock and roll legend who lost his top 40 virginity with the semi-smash hit. L.A. Dele. L.A. Dele. Today, I'm going to pick a fight with a bully. <laughs> Today's bully victim is a sweet 15-year-old angel by the name of Denise. Let's meet her. My name is Denise. I'm about to turn 15 years old. One of my passions in life is singing songs. You'll be the person to take me all the way. There was this girl, Brittany, and she's a karaoke bully because she often steals the mic and she pushes in too many songs to the system. Can I please get the microphone? Can you please give it back? I need help to take the microphone back so that I can sing my own songs. I met with Sweet Denise before her birthday party to find out more about her bully. Well, basically, I've been dealing with this girl, Brittany, in my class. Watch out, Brittany. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna decimate this girl, Brittany, and let me tell you, I'm not a stranger to the fist of a woman. Listen, all I want to happen is for Brittany to be told that she can't take other people's karaoke times. A lot of girls in my class are having karaoke parties. As I listened to Sweet didn't... Denise, I realized that the show was not karate bullies, but instead karaoke bullies, which would make more sense with my history of singing. This is not karate bullies because I've had enough of that. It's a karaoke bully show. Yes. I thought the show was karate bullies, and now you're telling me it's karaoke bullies? Yes. Well, 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 the plans have changed. I was dressed up in a karate outfit. I will now disguise myself as a tone deaf businessman. No one would expect that underneath this square businessman suit lay Nash Ricky, a lion ready to pounce. Hiya, hiya. To pull this all off, I'm gonna have to turn to a higher power. Music itself. Denise's birthday is in full swing, but it is also under attack by a 15-year-old bully named Brittany. Um, I'm Denise. I'm just Denise, obviously, but, um, so there's that. Secondly, I'd like to say thank you. Please obey the list. <sighs> My disguise is almost complete. Brittany has no idea that she's about to get her face melted off with an insane karaoke version of L.A. Deli. LA! by none other than Nash Ricky. Some people like to see me do my thing. Some people like to see me move around. Some people like to see me do my thing. A lot of people like to see me move around. I chose a song. My thing. I should. They like to see me prove 
I must protect my sweet little Denise. And as I slurp Brittany up, I can taste her blood now. I did not anticipate that a grown man dressed in a business suit and a child's birthday party would stick out like a sore thumb, which I'm all too familiar with after an injury I sustained trying to impress a Thai boy girl many years ago. Cut this off, cut this off, cut this off. Brittany, this one is dedicated to you from Denise. Because this karaoke bully is about to be humbled. Ellie! Rock music, I think it's pretty scary. I get scared of all those rock people. You've just been karaoke bullied. What? I am none other than rock legend, Mash Ricky. Mash? Helen, <gasps> is this your daughter? Yeah. Brittany, I'm your father. Mom? I never imagined I would run into my illegitimate, long-lost daughter, Brittany, let alone shame her and bully her in public. I thought it'd feel really good when Brittany got her comeuppance, but I actually felt kind of bad. She got embarrassed, and she found out that her dad was Rokinashi. Building a relationship with my daughter will take time and trust. Two things that are in short supply. <laughs> Maureen, you're late. No kidding, Larry. I've been prego for three months here. Larry Bird, it's beguiling to me why you still deign to ten bar at this tavern of tearaways. You're one of Boston's biggest sports stars. Why, you make Bobby Orr look like Ray Bork. Well, since you say that, Kelsey Grammer, they won't let me into the Boston Garden till 5 p.m. That leaves me with nine free hours. Plus, always seems like these counters need cleaning. Ain't that right, frozen head of Ted Williams? Well, uh, here's something interesting you might not know there, Larry. You know the folks over there at Alcor? Who uh, put my head here into... Cryogenically frozen suspended animation. Yeah, well, they also make some dynamite cleaning products. Hmm. Is Larry Bird here? Now look who it is, Larry, your friend and teammate, Bill Walton. What's up, Bill? If I'm around, plenty of smoke. <laughs> Is a drink and a chair. So, can I get you a drink? Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Hmm. I thought I smelled a funky cigarette, so. I love all your shows, man. Thank you, yes. Frasier was a real watershed moment for me, and by the end, I was making $400,000 per episode. Of course, I took a pay cut for Boss, as I deemed it an artistic challenge. And this is all in the future. Bill, if you don't want a drink, then why did you come here? Do you need a ride to the game? Although I prefer to drive on my own. It's the only time I get alone. No, no, I don't need a ride anywhere, man. I quit the team. I'm sick of Red Auerbach's bullshit, man. How's come? Well, he asked me to shave my beard, and I said, no, because I got no chin, bro. No chin? I got no body. <laughs> Can I work here at chairs? Uh, the answer to that question is no, because you do need a license to tend bar here. Well, Bill, I can help you pass the Massachusetts bar exam. Mm-mm. Not right now you can't stack of sand. It's happy hour. Happy hour? Like when I get to shoot baskets in an empty gym? No, the time when you zip your lip and start to pour those f***ing suds. All right, Maureen. OK, Bill, let's try this one more time. How often do you give a new customer a dry napkin? Oh, I don't know, Larry. My brain is fried and not the good kind of fried. <laughs> well, why not rip tickets at Symphony Hall? I'm sure the strains of the pops will be preferable to the quips of the Maureens. Hey, why don't you watch our mouth, Kelsey Grammer? Otherwise, we're gonna be hearing some pops in here. The sound of the pops when I pop you right in your face. 
Yeah, hello. I'm the uh, product of the Massachusetts State Bartending Exam. Oh, my feet. Oh, my feet. To a uh, Mr. Bill Walton. What Bostonian doesn't know who Bill Walton is? Come on. I'm a Bruins fan. Larry, you got to pretend to be me, bro. You know all the answers. It's the only way I'll pass the exam. But, Bill, I thought I was just helping you out with an assist. Come on, Larry, stop using basketball terms. It's the only way that you know how to relate to people. But there's got to be other ways, because you're not alone in this universe. you got to make friends. Is he here or what? I actually got uh, Bruins tickets for tonight. He's right here. Yes. Right here, standing next to me. I'm Larry Bird. Oh, f you, Larry. What the f you f me? F Bill, there's one thing you got to know about me. I'm viciously competitive. Because some things never change. I do not like getting tested on account of my rampant drug use. Ruth Diamond Phillips. <laughs> oh, goodness, it's even sadder with the lights on. Ow, ow, ow. I want to cut my eyes out with my gel tips. How'd you get in my, par my apartment? Ruth, I'm here to help you. Do what? <laughs> to look like this. Do you have what it takes to look like this? Who dressed you? Your outfit's stupid. <laughs> Look like this. Everyone wants to be me. Farley. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, damn it! I'm gonna be on Look Like Dead! I'm Ruth uh, Diamond Phillips. Uh, I'm an attorney. Ruth was a perfect candidate to come get a makeover because she looked it disgusting. Let's peruse those outfits I have not already destroyed with fire. Oopsie. Oh, no, no, no. I'm very afraid of fire. My fire is playing. My fire is playing. No, 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 no. What are these, Ruth? We here at the show give to a lot of charities and work with a lot of unfortunate people. But this is really something that belongs with them. That one I do think we should Ruth toss. Diamond Phillips, you need help. All right, OK. But before I invest my time, talent, and treasure trying to make you look like this? I'm, I'm... I need to know something, Ruth. Do you trust me? Yes. Do you? Oh, you already I said, said that yes. I do, yeah. I yeah, do. OK, so, cool. Great. Let's hit it. <laughs> I can't wait to look like this. <laughs> First of all, thank you for being with me in public. I might try these on for you, OK? OK. Well, Farley says to me she's going to try on the clothes. Well, fine. You know, I don't know the rules. I don't go shopping with the girls very much. Wouldn't you if you look like this? Slam. 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 For court. Hold up, Your Honor. that. What if they all just laughed at me if I came in there with that sort of Slap they face is. If someone laughs at you for what you wear, look within yourself and beat their ass. When this judge sees Ruth in her new makeover, he's going to want to be very dishonorable. I, I shouldn't have intercourse with the judge. That's actually really over the line. Coming up on Look Like This, Bobby. What the hell are you doing here during my makeover show? I love you, I guess. Look like this. I'm the queen, the queen of me.